If you need a custom room for daily drive, which means if you want to use that custom room for a few days, basically on a daily driver basis, then you can try out some many custom rooms, actually not some, but many custom rooms options available for you. One of the options which you can try out is Axion OS, which is also named as Axion AOSP. Previously, when I started made a video on this one, it was actually available for few of the Google Pixel devices, but now it's available for many other devices too. For some devices, it's available officially. For some devices, it's available unofficially. You can simply go and check this out in case you want to. The default launcher as, as expectedly not a Pixel launcher, but this is not actually a launcher to the typical launcher 3 you get in many custom rooms. It is having similar kind of options, few tweaks here and there. The recent spanner, if you're able to notice, quite smooth, that big clear all button, split screen option and so on. Take a look at the volume panel. This is a different volume panel as compared to some of the other custom rooms. Basically, many other custom rooms are not providing you this kind of volume panel. This is just, a, another, just another themed volume panel. So this is not like a unique thing, but it's available. So definitely just wanted to let you know. Including this thing, if we move on to some of the other things which are included in this one, let me show you this new back gesture. This was actually available first time when I saw that it was available in Rising OS revived version, but it's been some time and we do not have any update for that from a long time now. This new back gesture, this back gesture arrow indicator seems to be quite exciting one. The settings UI, if you're able to notice, it's quite simple, it's quite minimal. Nothing unique in this case. It's not like one of the most beautiful looking rooms out there, but it's, it's kind of really normal one. And it is not having any specific hub for all the customizations and features because it is having a few, but not major customizations. Move on to wallpapers and style section that you will find lock screen clock fonts customization. Different kind of lock screen clocks. Fonts are kind of okay. Some different styles are not there, although it is uh, not a big deal, but it's available. So you can simply check this out. In my case, I'm using nothing fonts. You can also use iOS style fonts for the lock screen clocks in case you want to. And also have some custom icon pack options available. There are a lot of icon packs available. Some of the famous, some of the famous ones which are available with many custom rooms are also available in this case too. You can even change the default fonts, but Already the default fonts are quite okay. These are the fonts which I'm using and these are default ones. The wallpaper collection, there are a lot of wallpapers already included in this one. We have CMF wallpapers, Google Pixel wallpapers, Nothing 2.0 and many more things. The lock screen is also one of the most exciting looking things in this custom room. By enabling the Nothing OS fonts and also the widgets, it is actually looking like inspired from Nothing OS. Quite exciting to be honest. Lock screen, have some tweaks already available in the lock screen customization section. You have to enable the lock screen widgets in case you want to look like, if you want to make it look like nothing OS, a bit of nothing OS, not exactly, then you have to enable that option. Weather update and so on. It also brings you the support for cloned apps, so you can create a second instance of any app in case you want to. It's available, you can use it in case you want to. One more thing is actually named as app lock. If you want to use app lock, you can. The benefit of using app lock is if you change launcher, you can still use this app lock. By default, it's available in few of the launchers already. If you move on to battery section, you will find the smart charging options. You can limit the charging to 80% to extend the battery lifespan. Another thing is if you're looking forward to circle to search, it is here, it is working fine. If you use circle to search, it's good. If you do not use it, you can simply skip this thing. To make circle to search work, you just have to update Google app once on a device and circle to search should work for you. One more thing which is quite underrated is named as task bar. And yes, it's available, it's working fine. It's available in the navigation mode settings. So you can enable this task bar. So whenever you switch between recent panel, you will see that task bar available at the bottom. Might be exciting thing for some of the users and might not be too. If you move on to some other options, we have the option to hiding the developer status from some of the apps in case you want to. Same thing, same thing applies to hide app list. So you can simply choose apps from which you want to hide other apps. That is actually quite useful in some cases. If you move on to miscellaneous options, we'll also find ignore window secure flags. So you can simply remove the screenshot and screen record limits for almost every application. It doesn't work with every application, but for many of them actually. Move on to multi-window option. You have two options. So you can simply decide if you use sidebar, how you want to launch those apps. 
in AOSP form or LMO free form, it's totally up to you. Some spoofing options, quite simple one, quite stable one, and quite normal one, nothing you need to talk about. And if you're looking forward to bootloader spoofing, yes, it's enabled. Bootloader is showing as locked, so it might be helpful for WhatsApp spoofing. I mean, it might be helpful for the users who want to use WhatsApp and having some issues regarding that. So this is it. These are things available in this one. If you, if you want to give it a try, you can. Link is there in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.